Hi everyone, it's Courtney with Life For Real. Subscribe below and get hooked. Please don't overcook your fish. So we had a great day of fishing. The conditions were a little tough, but we still managed to pull up some really great fish. Oh, stop. Yes. So there is a very unsecret, secret way to fillet and clean a sheep's head. Um, if you can get that right in here, there is a kind of a ridge line here, and you want to feel around with your knife, and there should be a certain point where you can kind of get in there and go, yep, there we go. And then you want to go straight along his entire back. really helps because the skin is it's pretty tough with the scales on. We did take some of the scales off. But once you can find that sweet spot right up here on the ridge line, you can get right in here and get a really nice fillet off of that. Now that they're filleted and cleaned and ready to go, I'm going to show you my blackened sheep's head tacos. So I cut the sheep's head into more like strips instead of cubes that I would do for my fried fish. This just helps it stay on the taco shell better. I seasoned it with my own um, blackening seasoning. You can purchase one if you don't feel like making it. Um, it's a lot of different spices. I think I have 10 different spices in it. And so I will post up that recipe um, at another time. But that's what I use to season the fish. Season it on both sides, guys. You eat both sides of the fish, so you should season both sides of the fish. Just saying. So, I'm gonna put this in the pan. I used coconut oil um, because coconut oil, again, I like to use a high heat oil when I am frying or blackening, anything that is not going to burn quickly. So coconut oil, grapeseed oil are two healthy, great alternatives to using something like a vegetable oil or an olive oil that will burn very quickly. We're gonna do tacos tonight because it is almost six o'clock and it's pretty quick to make. When you have to work Monday through Friday and only get to fish on the weekends, you have to learn how to make quick recipes when you don't have time. So we're just gonna let that cook on both sides for just a couple of minutes. You do want to hear that sizzle because you want those herbs to create a really nice blackening crust on the outside of the fish. Again, do not overcook your fish. You worked so hard to get them and clean them. Let's cook them properly. So I would say two minutes per side will be plenty because again, once you get that on your plate, it's going to continue to cook. I like to use the La Tortilla Factory tortillas. I think they are the most pliable, the best tasting, and probably the best for you. There's not a lot of crazy stuff in them. so. I always use these for my tacos, whether it's fish tacos, you know, beef tacos, any kind of taco. I use these tortillas. I think they're amazing and the best. So we'll be plating those onto those tortillas uh, with some avocado, some slaw, and some uh, chipotle, like kind of a hot crema. And that will be our fish taco for Sunday night. Enjoy. Okay, so tacos would not be tacos to me without some kind of sour cream, sauce, crema. So normally I would make a chipotle crema with sour cream and chipotles and adobo sauce. Um, again, don't have a lot of time right now, so we're gonna do this the quick way. So I just take some sour cream. You just wanna put that in a bowl. And then to recreate a little heat, I use some hot sauce in there, and I like it hot, so I use a lot. Favorite hot sauce, Valentina. 
and you, you literally just mix it together. It creates a really, really gorgeous orange color. And the sour cream is going to cut a little of the heat of the hot sauce, but still continue to have that flavor. If you have chipotles in adobo, I highly recommend using that. You just put those in a food processor. You mix those up and you pour that into this as well, just one or two tablespoons, and you would have a spicy crema. But it's perfect for tacos. I personally love to put some kind of vegetable, whether it be a slaw, um, a lettuce, something that is kind of crunchy that will create that texture and a really good mouthfeel when you bite into your taco. So with time um, being uh, so sensitive right now, I actually purchased a bag of cabbage. Um, this is a cabbage carrot um, broccoli slaw that was already done in a bag. It's quick, it's easy. Typically I would get my own head of cabbage and I would slice it up. Um, but again, if you're limited on time, this is a perfect weekday meal. Just go ahead and buy this. It's so much easier. To make the slaw, I do it quick, easy, simple, because you really want the fish to be the star of the show. So I use a rice vinegar. It is much less um, acidic, in my opinion, and I, it's just very nice and light. So instead of using like a traditional white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, I like to use a rice vinegar because it's just nice and light. And again, you want the flavor punch to be from the fish, and this is just the, the thing that complements it. Just a little bit of salt. Don't overdo the salt, remember. You seasoned your fish well on both sides, so you're gonna get the most flavor from that. So a little salt and pepper. You just mix that up. And then you have your slaw for your fish taco. So now that you have everything prepared, it's time to assemble your taco. Take a couple pieces of your fish, put those right in those amazing tortillas that I was telling you about. Top with your slaw. A couple slices of avocado. A little crema. And there you have it, blackened sheep's head tacos. Enjoy.